Today we're gonna lift this glass here into this door frame. I say we, but it's just me. Very precarious because this is triple glazed. And if you catch an edge anywhere, then it's just gonna basically shatter. It's gonna be quite difficult because the one that I need is here, which means that this one and this one needs to come out of the way first. This is 55 kilograms, that one's 50, and that one is 45. That would be pretty much impossible on my own, but the other day I bought this glass lifter, which in theory should help me do this, but it's lower, isn't it? So how's that gonna work? I need to get it on both suckers. I can turn that round, but then that's up here. But the glass is down here. To move these first two out of the way, I could use this like panel dolly. I've used it before, but Lou helped me and that just stopped it from like smashing each side. And I've just realized as well, this glass here, this is the outside one. Uh, that is the inside one. So the suckers, I can't put them on this side. They need to be on the other side. Stand it up here, come in the other side and then stick it on the back. It's not going to float in midair. I kind of need, I need Lou here, don't I, just to hold it. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this. I'm a bit scared that I'm just, <laughs> just going to end up smashing the bloody glass, aren't I? Is this, is this a wise decision? Oh, I'm not sure. Right, so I'm just worried that I'm going to end up smashing this glass if I try and do it by myself. Have you um, tried using your brain? <laughs> you tried using my brain. <laughs> so that's what, that's what you like to say. Hey. Yeah. Why don't you um, have a little think about it and then um, if you can't figure it out, then I'll be back tomorrow. Right. Right, I've been thinking about it and maybe if I get these two out of the way, I can get this one, lift it that way, spin it round, lean it against the wall and I can get the suckers on this side. Right, I can't let the glass touch the concrete, so I need to pivot on the floor. I'm gonna use some insulation. might be wondering why I stood this one up and then used the panel dolly to get the other glass out of the way. It got made incorrectly so I can afford to break it because I've not used this before. I thought we better have a little test before we go for the real deal. I'm not 100% sure how to use it properly. Just imagine if it fell off and then fell onto them. <laughs> oh shit. I was a little bit worrying because it was wobbling. The top sucker, it was losing its suction so I made sure that I pumped it. Uh, you need to make sure that you don't lose, what the, if you see the red mark, then it's about to drop, basically. Um, <clears throat> doesn't help with the block and beam floor, with the wobbliness. Now it's time for this one. It is 766 wide. And we've got 900 there. If I couldn't get the glass through, one way I could just swing this round but having a 55 kilogram piece of glass on this just swinging about it just it feels a bit wrong. Question is what is more of a risk having the glass swinging about on that or squeezing it through that gap? Right before I do that I just need to do a couple of bits to finish the frame off. That's ready for the glass now. Uh, 
toe in the heel in, that's the hinge side. I put these ones in first and then that side and then I'll leave that one afterwards. Extra green ones there for security past 24 and I need to put them in the centre as well. But I'll get glass in first. The issue with that, this is in the way so normally you sneak it round but because it's going to be on the machine I think I might just do this. I feel nervous now. I just had to go a wee. You know one of them wees where you just do a little bit. <laughs> it's just ideally I would have that end at the bottom because you get the etched bits for uh, laminated or hardened glass. But mm, it's just one of them things.
Well, that was definitely dodgy at one point. I thought I was going to just drop it because I had to take the machine off and then just manhandle it in. But just shows you a bit of perseverance. I suppose that proves that worrying isn't good for anyone. And all you really need to do is a little bit of problem solving. And now I know I can do it. It's given me a little bit of confidence. I can smash out 